Welcome to another tech video. We're going to be having a look at a ZooStorm PC today that uh, won't switch on. So let's just have a quick look at it. So this is the machine itself and on the top we've got this little um, power button that doesn't seem to do anything. Um, so let's just run through what we've done at the customer site. So um, basically we disconnected the power switch and then we tested uh, switching on the main board um, by shorting the power pins um, and that turned on okay. So we knew it wasn't the power supply. Um, and then we had another look at the switch and couldn't get any voltage out of it. So what we've done is we've actually bought this guy. This is a, um, it's a little recess switch with an LED light in it. Uh, it's a 12 mil one and that was on Amazon. I think we got that for 5.99. So um, we're gonna swap that out today. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this side panel. It's pretty dirty inside, as you can see, but uh, we are gonna give this a good clean out, give it a blow out um, once, we've, uh, once we've done the work. The next thing we want to do is we want to remove the front panel and we're going to release the clips and that should just come away like that. Now we've got two choices. So if you have a look here, you can see the switch itself is mounted in this little block that sits up underneath the plastic. So having a look at the shroud on here, uh, if we mount this in, it is going to go in, but it's going to probably get in the way of the probably going to get in the way of the CD tray but we are going to mount it in there so we just have to try and keep all the cables out of the way um, and we, the pins on the bottom should actually allow us just to just to sit the cable fairly flat with any luck <laughs> right Okay, so inside the case, we've got a connector ribbon coming in down here, um, but it's all cable tied together. So we need to undo this cable clip, first of all, by just giving that a little, see where it goes down and attaches. This one here, being careful that you don't clip any of the, uh, any of the actual cables. And then on the front here, we want to, Try and get this out somehow. There we go. Okay. And that goes through the back. Uh, there's another cable, cable tie down here that we need to remove. Okay. All right, now these four should come out. They are power switch and power LED. Okay, so that's that removed. Now to see if the cable is going to be long enough, which it is, pretty much the same length, thank goodness. So that's that part done. The next thing we want to do is we want to take out the little assembly from here. And I'm not sure how we do that, but there's a couple of pegs. Oh, that just lifts off. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna pull that out of there. Okay, that comes off fairly easy. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna drill this out. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you this, but uh, I'm gonna stick it in the vise. Or maybe not, maybe just go in with a full-on drill. You're probably going to scream at me for not doing a pilot hole, however, pretty difficult to do a pilot hole on there, so let's just see if this works. Oh, 
Okay, I am going to put it in the vise, so as soon as we've done that, I'll come back and show you the hole. Okay, so that was fairly successful, so we've got our hole drilled. Now we need to see if this uh, switch is going to go in, so we need to remove the little nut underneath. And then we need to thread these through the hole. And then see if this will go in. Okay, so it's a little bit small. Need to make that hole just a little bit bigger. Okay, I think this is finally it. Certainly looks big enough now. Yep, okay, so now we can get the nut. That goes on there. We need to get that on and started. Let's just have a look. Okay. Okay, have we got enough room to actually turn it? Uh. Okay, so that's the on off switch fitted. Hopefully these uh, wires aren't crushed, but uh, I guess we'll soon find out. So we want to take our case. And we now want to route the cables through the top here, where that was. like that and then position our get our front cover back on that's the front panel back on and then we need to route this back down through here which we're going to go underneath there underneath the CD drive. Underneath the power. And then back down to our front I.O. connectors. Okay, so our power buttons to the right and our LEDs to the left. And positive is on the left, negative is on the right. All right, so now all we need to do is see if it works with the power button. So I'm just going to lift that up, power button on the top. Yay, all right. And we've got a little LED. Shame it's not quite straight, but you can't have everything. This is only going to last another six months, so that's good news. So that's all now operational. So now we can give it a clean and get this back to our customer. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thank you for watching and always your continued support. And we'll see you in the next one.